Rams uh, last week? Um, I think it was good for this team. Uh, we obviously came off a, a nail biter, but I thought it was an opportunity for us to reflect and grow and uh, really self critique offensively and defensively and then just heal up, you know, and, and, and feel good for this, this last stretch we got coming. We got to go serve a uh, day of uh, community service and that's always good for the for the soul. So uh, that's something Sweeney does a really good job on. And How about all the talk about the criticism that you guys didn't blow North Carolina out, you drop a spot in the polls and there's just some kind of, oh, this Clemson team just doesn't seem right. There's a lot of that talk. Yeah, you can't really listen to all that. You know, you just got to – hey, North, you got to give a lot of credit to North Carolina. They played they played a hell of a game. Uh, I've said it before, I thought they outplayed us on that day. Um, I hope we get a chance to see them again because I think, you know, they're a team that could definitely make it to that ACC championship. If, and we can too, but, but we still have, you know, the test in front of us. Um, but I think it was just, you know, I didn't think we played well at all. And, uh, and it showed. I didn't think we had a great – week of practice leading to North Carolina. And it, I mean, it showed too. So uh, it's just something we got to learn from and, and grow from. You look at Florida State, y'all really had their, your way with them down there last year, but they could easily be 5-0. and Got a great running back from Cam Akers. What do you see from there? I mean, they're a team that's in complete control of their destiny in, in the conference. Um, they're very talented. They're always very talented. Cam Akers is a great back. Uh, I think probably the, the best we're going to see so far uh, for sure, and then you know they got skilled guys, they got quarterbacks that can make plays, they got an O line that's growing, so they're a good team. Jamie, why don't you think that practice, that week of practice leading up to UNC was that great? I, mean, I just think we lost a little, little bit of focus, and uh, and it's uh, and we're we're a younger team, and I think that has something to do with it too. But uh, it was definitely uh, when you have a game that close, and you look back and reflect on how you prepared, it's definitely eye opening and. You know, just so you, you can't cheat this game, and you got to take every week serious and 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 really prepare to, to the fullest. When you lose focus, what's that? Um, not making the plays that you should make. You know, um, not making the layups. You could say, and uh, that's something we pride ourselves on: is is doing your job and making the layups. When you when you were talking about going back, you reflected, you went back and thought about practice and all. Were there moments in practice where you like, well, that probably was a sign? There's moments in practice where you, yeah, for sure. There's definitely sometimes you're like, dang, I wish I would have had, could have had that rev back, and it and it adds up, and uh, and it shows on when it's when it's time to 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 prove yourself. Is that something you and the team have addressed? Is that something you and the team have addressed in the locker room? Definitely. The last few days, talked about it, sat down. Hey guys, let's talk about how this went down and what we're going to do about it. Definitely. How is the Monday film session? You know, where does it rank on your know, least favorite film session? Was it? As bad as expected. Uh, we've had some bad ones when it comes to camp, and there's people, uh, you know, making simple mistakes. But I mean, defense didn't play uh, terrible. Like, didn't play bad. I didn't think. You know, we played a pretty sound game outside of um, some some plays they hit us on and gassed us. So I mean, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't good. I can tell you that. Um, I think the run game even better. I think we've done a great job so far, but you know we got to we got to get our nose bloody every down. You know we got to be physical every down, and I think that's something North Carolina did to us a little bit. They uh, they, they punch us in the mouth, and uh, we got to respond when that happens. How do you improve upon that? Is that tackling? It's there? a mentality. It's just that's it. That's all you got to do. You got to attack. Each rep and each play, like it's your last, and that, that's just something every person on the defense has to bring. Uh, what's the point of diversion? You guys, uh, when, when you guys would come out of the huddle with the coach, did you already have that have that option play in your head? One of the things you're about to do. We definitely knew they they liked, it, and we worked that play honestly. Uh, and we could practice. We knew that's something they like to do, and I I don't think I didn't know. I mean, we had an idea it was coming. I thought they were going to pass it honestly, but they ran it, and we just. We just responded to it. Nothing they did keyed you, though, right there before the snap? Because, I mean, you guys seem to have numbers over there immediately. No, just just see what your job is, see what your keys are, and they tell you what to do in a split second. You just got to trust it. You guys have been elite pretty much since you got here. Does it get tougher, even though you guys have obviously mastered staying near, near at the top? 
does it get tougher each week to not take winning for granted when you're a double-digit favorite and, and so much hype around this program? I think it can, but I think that Coach Sweeney and the staff do a great job at, at making sure that you don't do that and that you appreciate this game and you respect it and you understand that it starts over every single week and you have to put the work in every single week. And you got to prove yourself every week. Even if you're the starter the last game, doesn't mean you're going to start the next one. You got to go out there and show the coaches that you, you deserve to be the starter. You got to go out and show the team that you deserve to lead. And that's something that we do a really good job here. Is this game particularly special for you, your first start against Florida State? Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, I just this whole season is kind of special for me, I think, just the role I'm playing in now. But, uh, but I treat every game like it's the same. So, But it's going to be an exciting one for sure. Yeah, they're both talented dudes, and they both can operate the offense well. So, two-point conversion, Junior Thomas, is that one of the better plays that you've seen from him? Yeah, he's a freak. I mean, he's just so athletic, and uh, held him up a little bit for us, and we all just cleaned him up. He was a really good play by him. How, I, I know you were injured on that last drive. But uh -huh. how uh, honestly, when you're you run out there, you don't feel nothing. You feel nothing. You just want to play ball. So that's kind of takes over the adrenaline. How does the shoulder feel? Huh? I'm good. Talk about the heat that day uh, when you walk out on the field compared to the other games you've been on. It was the hot. Field. It was hot warming up in the beginning, but it cooled down a lot during the game. And then you, I mean, you, you were you're making you you make sure you're in shape going into it all. So like the last thing you're thinking about is how hot it is, honestly. You just cuz you know you've put in the work and the time to prepare for those moments. So it's not a big deal. When you guys are doing your self critique, is that do you hear from Jeff and Tony at all? Like do they come in and tell you guys what they see defensively from what y'all are doing or is that just a Venables thing? Uh it's mainly Venables and then you definitely have talks with Jeff and stuff, but um I think with Jeff, his main focus on you know, coaching a young young man is about life, and that's something he does a great job at, and uh, it's something you need. So, they, I mean, everyone's kind of stays in their lane and keeps the main thing the main thing. Coach Sweeney's been kind of a master at <clears throat> playing the disrespect card, even when you guys have been highly respected the last few years. Is, are we kind of getting to the point where he's able to bring that card out again because of some of the things that are being said? Yeah, I mean, I don't think anyone wants to see little old Clemson. Uh, dominating like we have and and we just gotta keep doing us just keep believing and and working and everything will play out like it should do you, do you kind of shake your head though sometimes when you hear all the stuff you guys then hear some negative stuff like that i mean yeah but that's a lot you're not thinking about it you just gotta whatever who cares did you guys kick back on saturday watching college football i did yeah i got a, i got some i went home so i got i have some buddies that uh, go to auburn so they were pretty disappointed. And then I got another Georgia fan friend. And even when they're winning, he's always stressed out. So it's always fun to mess with him. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I got to enjoy some football for the for the first time you know, in weeks. So. Do you guys actually think you're underdogs? Um, no. <laughs> That's a good answer. No. I think we know what we got. and But we have a chip on our shoulder for sure. Um, but I think we really believe in what we got and what we can do. Am I good? All right. Thanks, Jake. Thanks, Jake.